Okay, hello submariners, howdy hey. Um, this is about the fifth time I make this video, but my audio keeps getting stupid, so... Here we go again. Alright, the uh, question that Jamie asked was... How have you changed since you um, discovered the Beatles? By the way, I'm getting straight to the point because I'm really tired of saying this. I've said it about four times and my voice is about to give in. <laughs> Stupid audio problems. Okay, so back to the thing. Jamie's question was, how have you changed since you discovered the Beatles? And um, uh, I myself, I've changed a lot. Uh, a lot, like, a lot. <laughs> One of the things that I stressed in the my previous takes of this was that uh, I kind of got over them. <laughs> like now, um, I'm not the Beatlemania kind of calmed down. You know, like about a year ago, which is when I discovered them, all that mattered to me was Beatles, 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 Beatles. I wouldn't listen to anything that wasn't Beatles. If it didn't have Paul McCartney or John Lennon or George Harrison or Ringo Starr on it, I didn't care for it. Um, the only solo work I ever paid attention to was Paul McCartney's because I was like obsessed with Paul McCartney and just I didn't care for anything else. Now um, I became very diverse. Now I listen to a lot of um, I listen to Muddy Waters, Queen. David Bowie, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, The Clash, Sex Pistols, uh, Hendrix, um, who else? Uh, Pink Floyd, uh, The Kinks, uh, Jefferson Airplane, Bob Dylan, Eric Clapton, The Yardbirds, uh, endless, the list is endless. So basically I just, I, um, I uh, came out of the little, I was in a little bubble, a little like Beatles bubble, and it, uh, it popped. For the, for, in a good way. Because I don't really know what I would, what I've done if, had I only been listening to Beatles up to this point. Um, I would have gone slightly mad. I mean, I'm not knocking the Beatles music because I could listen to every album a million times a day, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. I'd be the happiest person in the world, actually. I still love them. But, um, the flame is not burning. My hand looks really big. <laughs> no, the flame isn't burning as bright. It's not a bad thing. I've just, uh, moved on to other... Why? I've moved on to other, uh, things, you know. I discovered that there is more to life. Than the Beatles. Um, no, but there is. I, I must be truthful. There is, and I found that out. It was kind of sad when I discovered that because I kind of ditched the Beatles last December for Led Zeppelin. And I was actually I was looking at my archive, and you kind of see it like from one month to another on Tumblr, like everything in october or to september was like paul mccartney everywhere and then just like in november december you just see like a bunch of jimmy page and i was like oh i'm sorry i you feel like you're like abandoning the, the fandom and the group and whatever but it's it's good moving on is good it's a good thing i promise you like i said before i would only listen to beatles things um, that's, like I said, that changed a lot, um, I would only talk about Paul McCartney, I remember that, like, I didn't care about anything else, like, I was gonna shove Paul McCartney down your throat every day, um, because just Paul McCartney was like Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney, and that also leads to how I've grown and I'm in maturity, um, you know, when I first listened, when I first got into them, I was more into like the frilly, hippie hippie shake kind of stuff, like the first, the most uh, played songs on my iPod right now are Devil in Her Heart, I love that song so much, it gets me all like, yeah, like giddy, and that's why I love it, just, okay, moment, 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 moment. It's the most um, played song on my iTunes playlist with 274 plays. And then here, there, and everywhere, like 250 something. 
or 260 something and then i will because i just i love that oh my god that song makes me like die just see see i still have all the emotions it's just um i don't know how to describe i just i i, I cool down i calm down i think that's how i've changed the most but what i was saying before like maturity like i don't listen to like the really early stuff and not really care about the kind of impact they had i was um i was really girly fan i didn't really um I didn't appreciate them as much, that's one thing. I mean, as I grew uh, as a person, I I, um, I learned to appreciate them a lot more. I mean, like now I know what they stand for. I know, I know that all the bands I listen to now are because of them and the blues. The Beatles, Beatles and the blues are the foundation of every British rock band. I mean, like, not literally, but, you know, you'll hear everybody talking about the Beatles at one point. I mean, they created the long-haired four-guy band thing, so you gotta thank them. <sighs> thank them. There's a poster. That's why I'm putting over there. That's, I think that's how I've changed since I began listening to the, to the Beatles. Yeah. And if, you're, if you want to go more in-depth, with my story you can ask me things or I'll just continue it on my next video but I've made this video like three times or something and I just I just want to get to the point now <laughs> just I just want to get to the point the second thing here is uh, the Rolling Stones which is probably like all my times I don't even know and um that's because I was as I told you last week and I was t I've been telling Hannah lately She's, she's my friend, by the way. If you guys, if you kind of keep hearing me say, like, Hannah, 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 she's my friend from Tumblr, and she's, like, the best person in the world. But Hannah, here, like, is what we're gonna do a high five, okay? And, um, like, a, the Rolling Stones have invaded. There's a Rolling Stones mania right now, like, in here. And, whoa, then, <laughs> like, it's, going awesome it's awesome Mick Jagger Mick Jagger Mick Jagger here there everywhere I told her that I was going to learn An I mean no I told her that I learned Angie but um I only listened to this song for the first time yesterday don't judge me shut up I know it now just shut shut up okay just don't don't judge so I don't really know the words, so I'm going to be playing it with um, well, with the headphones on. So um, like yeah. So sorry if I miss words or something, but I suck. So yeah. After you see me play Angie, I'm not going to talk anymore because I don't have anything to say, and I want to edit this and move on with life. So um, goodbye, submariners. Be awesome. Live life. Things. Cherries. Jimmy Page and Bats. <laughs> oh my god, Hannah, remember that comment? <laughs> the little b Never mind, just never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> this is really boring, I'm really sorry, but again, like all of my happy go lucky thing has been sucked out of me like a dementor. Harry Potter. Because I've done this things so many times and I just can stop now so goodbye people be awesome I promise you I'll be hopefully I'll be a lot more excited and animated and awesome next week here's Angie and I will leave you
frustration okay so i'm gonna go um be cool people you know life and such things so um all right goodbye i'm now going to click and i shall do